Hello and welcome in this video we're going to look at it how to run your Kodi smoothly with clearing the cache, clearing the packages and deleting the thumbnails. Um, so this is a good way of doing it so we're going to find out how to do this automatically. You don't need to do that manually so there's a way how to do it automatically. First of all what is thumbnails? You can see these small pictures down here. These are the thumbnails you can find it in most of the um, builds and everything and also the cache you can clear it. So let's have a look how to do that automatically. So go to system um, go to file manager, then we have to add a source, click add a source, we have to type http forward slash www.tdbvisit.ca.uk forward slash repo. Uh, once you've done that, click done and you have to name it. I always name it um, appropriately, so I'm going to name it TDB Visit. Uh, once you type TDB Visit, you have to click done. So now we have to download the TDB repository and download the TDB Visit. So now go home again, so click system, from system we have to click add-ons, then install from zip file, then once you have to click TDB visit, then click repository team DDB, once it's downloaded you get a message down below, so once you um, get the message, click um, install from repository, now click team DDB repository. So from there you have to go to program add-ons and click and download team TDB wizard. Once you click on it and click install, this will download and install. Once it's completed, you'll get a notification saying that it's successfully installed. Once it's installed, this will be available under program add-ons. So now you can see this is enabled. So let's go to programs and find TDB wizard down there. So let's go home again. Uh, navigate to programs, go into the programs, then you will find TDB visit. So once you open it, this is how it looks. You can see there are many other functions, but we're going to focus on um, keeping the maintenance tools. So once you click maintenance tools, this will um, bring it down here. You can see the weekly auto clean is off, auto clean uh, launch Kodi is off at the moment. Now you can see the cache size, package size and thumbnail size and all kind of thing. Click setup auto clean and specific MB to enable all the things. So and also you can see you can see one click auto clean device. It will automatically clear all your packages um, all your um, uh, thumbnails and cache as well. So this is one of the good way of doing it if you don't want to um, enable automatically. But to set automatically now you can see once you click, that will um, go um, straight away, that will delete everything. So now to set up weekly auto clean or anything automatically, you have to click set up auto clean down here. So click on it, navigate it to auto clean tab. Under there, you can see you can, if you, you can enable it auto clear Kodi on your Kodi launch, um, if you prefer that way, so you can do that as well. Um, and also if you scroll it down, you can see um, weekly cleanup, you can choose the date. Um, a day. Uh, I normally prefer on a Friday, so which you know normally it's ready for Saturday. And also this will clear clear cache, clear cache logs, clear thumbnails, and clear packages. And you had to click OK. Um, so basically, once you click OK, that will be set automatically. You don't need to do anything. So the code has to be on. And also you have to turn this auto clean on. So click on it. It will turn on automatically. And also we can see you now I turn on auto clean Kodi on launch it's on as well so hopefully this will do that so this will keep your Kodi run very smoothly on low budget uh, devices and everything so on a note if you run the Kodi on a, on a startup you don't need to run the, um, the program every week but if you're doing a weekly you don't need to run Kodi on every week um, every startup so either of this will be good so hopefully you like the video if you like the video please do a thumbs up if you like the video, please a thumbs up, do a comment, please do share with your friends and family. I'd like to see you in another video. Thank you for watching.